April inflation numbers came out today and Americans are still struggling to pay their bills. News for Tucson's Daniel McFarland spoke to a local business to find out how those numbers are impacting them. The April inflation numbers are out and it's not looking good. Turns out it's up 8.3% from last April. So far, there's no end in sight for the inflation we are seeing in the country. Christopher Meager works for the White House, and he says that inflation is on the top of mind for Washington leaders. The president knows that inflation is the number one issue facing America's families. Back in Tucson, we have not only seen increasing numbers at the pump and the grocery store, but with every other aspect of life, including toy stores. There are some vendors that have been affected far more than others, it seems like, um, and it's kind of hard to tell why. Um, but uh, there's some things that we don't order anymore because I f we feel like it's just too expensive now. There's other things that um, we are like really monitoring and, and we're eating the cost right now, but maybe we're going to like phase it out. When it comes to entertainment such as toys, electronic items are seeing the highest spike because of the manufacturing is largely in China, and that's a country that saw many stoppages due to the coronavirus. This isn't a huge problem for Autumn since most of her products are what she calls kid-powered, but there is still a few impacts that she has faced herself. So yeah, we've had to get a little bit more clever in terms of ordering, trying to find different alternatives that might be a better price point for our customer. The White House knows that much of the inflation starts with energy inflation, which is over 30 percent from last April. But they point the finger at Russia being the primary problem. A big sector of the increased uh, cost that we're seeing is in the energy sector. And a big part of that is due to uh, Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. From downtown, Daniel McFarland, News 4 Tucson.